Mr. Zuckerberg, I think at this point it's fairly obvious that technology platforms have been stifling conservative news and opinions. You employ a panel of content moderators. Can you explain how Facebook chooses who these moderators are? Uh, thanks, Congressman. We, we do hire um, a, a lot of uh, people around the world to work on, on safety and security. We, our team is, is more than 30 or 35,000 people working on that now. Um, we certainly try to do this in, in a way that, that uh, is, is neutral to all viewpoints. We want to be a platform for all ideas. I, I don't think you build a, uh, a social product with the goal of giving people a voice if you don't believe that people being able to express a wide variety of things is ultimately valuable for the world. And we try to make sure that our policies and our operations uh, ultimately reflect and carry that out. Is there an ideological diversity amongst the content moderators? Uh, Congressman, I, I don't think we, we choose to hire them on the basis of an ideology. Um, they're, they're hired all over the world. Um, there are certainly a, a, a bunch in, in the U.S. They, they, there's diversity in where they're hired. Um, but certainly we're, we don't want to uh, have any, any bias in, in what we do, and we wouldn't tolerate it if we discovered that. So you don't specifically hire, say, conservative moderators and Democrat or liberal moderators so that there's a balance in your content moderators? Congressman, in terms of the 30 to 35,000 people or more at this point who are doing safety and security review, uh, that is correct. In terms of the people setting the policies, I think it is valuable to have people with a diversity of viewpoints involved so we can make sure that we have the different viewpoints uh, represented in the policy development process. And we also consult with uh, a number of outside groups whenever we, we develop new policies to make sure that we're taking into account all perspectives. What are some of those outside groups that would be conservative leaning? Uh, Congressman, I, I, I need to get back to you with a, with a list of specific uh, groups, but it would depend on what the topic is. Uh, yeah. That, that yeah. Can you just about. can you just think of one? I mean, you said you you reach out to outside groups. Can you think of one conservative outside group that you reach out to and use as a content moderator? Uh, Congressman, uh, I'm I'm talking about different external stakeholders and groups that are inputs to our our policy development process, uh, and I'm not involved in those conversations directly. So I would have to get back to you with with specifics on that. But I'm quite confident that we. Uh, speak with people across the ideological spectrum when we're developing our policies. I would very much appreciate a follow-up on that. Uh, real quickly, can you briefly explain the approval process for third-party fact-checkers and how many fact-checkers does Facebook employ? Yes, thanks. Uh, we work with about 70 fact-checking partners around the world, and the goal of the program is to limit the distribution of uh, viral hoaxes, so things that are, are clearly false, uh, from, from getting a, a lot of distribution, but we don't ourselves want to be in the business of determining what is true and what is false. That feels like an inappropriate role for us to play. We rely on uh, an organization um, called the, the Pointer Institute, and it, I think it's called the, the Independent Fact-Checking Organization, uh, that uh, has a set of guidelines of, of what makes an independent fact-checker, uh, and they uh, certify those fact-checkers, and then any organization that gets certification from that group is qualified to be uh, a fact-checking partner.